Guerrero sets, and the 1-1. High fly ball into medium deep right field. Harrison backtracking. This one has some carry to it, and this one's out of here. It's a three-run home run for Josh Lowe, his 21st of the season. Five home runs in the ball game for Durham, and they now lead 13-2 here in the eighth inning. Brady House looks and acts the part of a large slugger at a measured 6 foot 4, 215 pounds, using that frame to generate good bat speed and plenty of raw power from the right side. He had previously gotten long in that swing in order to exhibit that pop on showcase circuits, but shortened it enough last spring and summer to give him an average hit tool projection for now. That could bump up even more with more experience. 34 hits allowed in 72 innings. Here's the wind and the 2-2. Swing and a miss, struck him out with a high heater. Cole Wynn, back-to-back -back strikeouts. Two balls and two strikes. Huge lead for Marmoleos at second. Rip and a miss, let her high at 94, cut him right down, <laughs> and Wynn battles back. This one driven out into center field. Siani back on his horse, still going back, looks up. That one is gone. Two-run shot to center field, his team leading 16th home run. And just like that, Lake County jumps out in front. It's Two nothing captains. Wow. Well, Mike, you talked about it. Their top home run hitter, number two in the lineup. Here's Royce Lewis, another first round pick. The Twins, oh man, Twins having today's game. Is it going to stay fair? It is a fair ball home run off the roof of the Tiki Bar. The 20 year old former first round pick in 2017 from San Juan Capistrano. That was a far one. Yeah, we're tied up at one. And that one is drilled out toward deep right field. That's way back. Polanco at the track, and that ball is gone against the wind. Bryson Stott unloads just to the right of the 369 sign. And the Iron Pigs take a 3 to nothing lead here in the fourth. Man, that ball was crushed. Put everything into that swing, and... Off the crack of the bat, it sounded good. 293, he's one for one with a double in today's game. Swings here, hits one high. Left field, Matichevic at the wall, it is gone! The Chihuahuas are on the board. Home run by D.H. Luis Camposano. Strong game for him, double on the home run already. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss, and the bat goes flying. To start today. Now here's Liberator. 2-2 is on the outside corner, called third strike. The wind and the 1-2. Swing and a miss, another slider. Game of the year. Here's the 1-2. Fastball on the inside corner, called third strike. He does not walk many batters at all. The left-hander's home with a payoff, and strike three called over the outer half. And you talk about a well-located 3-2 pitch. That was about mid-thigh high right on that outside corner. Pitch on the way. Big swing and a miss, and he hooked him big. There's strikeout number 10. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, he got him. Fastball punches it past him. And down goes Jonathan Perlaza. Second strikeout for Yuri Perez. Strike three, 95, and couldn't touch that one, so it's strikeout number three for Perez. Swing and a miss. There's that spin rate, David. That, that, oh that, would, be the, that would be the one. Oh. That would be the one. Oh, my God. Goodness. He's walking off the field, still looking back at him, thinking, yeah. what was that you threw me? I mean, he, he's looking at it, and he stares at him. He's like, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes back to the mound. He was, all, he was halfway down the steps, and he turned back to look at the pitcher again, thinking, what on earth? He's just coming full heater. Well, this is oh. fun for him. Hey, there's some secondary stuff. <laughs> Talk about nasty. Fish for that. Some of these guys with that much talent, they come in, they think they know it all. He is not like that. But he's not seen heat like that either much. No, Martian, welcome to the pro baseball world. Welcome to the Futures game where Cade Cavalli has heat. Three-hit game on Friday with a double. 
And gets a hold of the first pitch from Lynn. A towering fly ball way back to left field and gone like the cool breeze. And that's out there in Blaze Alexander territory beyond the back fence past the berm. Orelvis Martinez, massive power in this young right-handed hitting infielder, just 19 years old out of Santo Domingo in the Dominican. That's now a half dozen home runs since coming to Vancouver. 1-2 pitch, runner goes, but it's cranked in the air to left field. Branish goes back, stops at the track, that ball's gone. Second homer of the night for the center fielder, Robert Hassel. He gave the Tin Caps the lead in the fifth and now stretches it in the sixth with a two-out, two-run shot. Winslow delivers and Veen swings and rips one down the right field side. And that is a fair ball, and that's going to go to the wall. We'll see if Zach Veen can get to third. He hustles around second. He is on his way to third, and Zach Veen dives in safely. He is the first Fresno Grizzly ever in a home game to hit for the cycle. Here's the 3-2. Inside corner called strike three. There's that slider, and it puts away Sanchez. Here's the pitch. Slider, strike three. Right over the outside corner. I'm as much hype as there is around this, this kid and any prospect nowadays. We know a lot about these guys. That is his first major league strikeout. 60th pitch of the outing is a called strike three. As Perez did, in fact, go around. Either way, strikeout number seven for Cabrera. This one driven to right. It's got some carry, and this ball is gone. Everybody rise out of your seat. Stand and cheer for Nolan Gorman. Home run number 14 in AAA. And our Redbirds lead in the third. There's the line back in the 2-2. Swing and a miss and a good curveball down low in the zone. He strikes out Biggers. Third strikeout for Kirby. And the 0-2 delivery. And the pitch swung through and struck him out. Driven into left center field and nobody's there. As Pilar's going to watch this one bounce and flatten out. And here comes Robertson. And Robertson is going to score and Joey Bart's got a double. In an RBI. How about that? That was a great at bat. That is one that they will absolutely pull out of the file, rerun. He is knocking on the door of the major leagues, but I was just so impressed with how many baseball conversations go on in the first three innings. And Jordan Walker unloads a three run bomb on the Jefferson. No balls in one strike to Young, the pitch. Hammer to center field, back it goes, racing back. Back goes a Zocar, that ball is up and it's gone! It hits the front of the equipment shed, just to the left of the 400 foot mark. Josh Young hits his first triple A home run and gives Round Rock a 5-4 lead. Josh Young, take a bow! over a thousand which is second best in the low a west here's a swing and a drive hit high and deep out to left canario's back at the track the wall and it's gone diego cartaya continues his big season as it will be an 01 that's lifted by Beatty and a right see you later off the roof of the indoor batting cages and into the Bingham tonight. Beatty puts the ponies on the board. And Brett's big blast makes it 1-0 Binghamton. Fly ball to right center field, Aquino back, and clear the deck with a cannonball coming. In his second game, in his final at bat likely in the big leagues this season.